Welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add WYSIWYG editor to a Laravel project. So here in this project, I have a Laravel 5.6 install. It is just a fresh installation of Laravel 5.6. I have run the npm install command to install the node dependencies. As you can see on the version composer, here is the Laravel 5.6. All I have is just the, the basic JavaScript libraries here. It is by by default it comes with Laravel 5.6, so I have uh, installed all of them as well. It, it, this is just a fresh Laravel installation. So I have here the, a very simple application. It is by default you can create uh, the authentication. You can log in and it will show you the dashboard like this. So if I come here to resources, uh, to whom you are logged in here. Here I will create a form just for example. I'm not going to save them on the database. I will just show you how you can add a VZBIG editor to Laravel project. So we, we might have a form here, then it does not have any action for now. We have form group. Let's say we have something like input dot form control. It is a type of text. It has a placeholder of enter the title. And let me s see how it will look here. As you can, uh, as you know, Laravel 5.6 will come with uh, mm, Bootstrap 4. This is the, the style is Bootstrap 4. Everything is Bootstrap 4. That's why it, the the design is a bit changed. I will add one more form here. That form group. Then we have text area for the zone. Let's say. The name is content, the ID is also content. They have a class of form control. Let's see how it will look like. It will look like this. So now I will add the WYSIWYG editor to this portion of the page so that we can uh, have a very nice uh, editable content here. There are many WYSIWYG editor out there, so I will use the summer note. If you have ever used summer node or if you have ever seen this is a very nice WYSIWYG editor it is super fast it is open source you can freely use it in your project so here uh, it will look like this so the way I will add this I will just google something like npm summer node it should give us the npm because uh, when you come to the documentation here you in getting started it will not show you the npm installation of that you will go to npmjs copy the command here come to your project my project is here uh, if you press control uh, tilde here in your uh, code uh, visual studio code it will open the terminal here so in this project i can just paste the code and then save it as a diff it will take uh, maybe a minute to install so i will pause the video until it gets installed so the installation finished now we have some uh, summer note in our application if i come to package.json here is the uh, summer note here i will add the javascript file now if i go to mm, app i can put it anywhere i will put something some somewhere like this require summer note it should require the summer note so now I should compile the file as well. Once we add something, we should compile all the files. Again, I will open terminal and npm run watch. I will run the watcher so that uh, when we bring any changes, it should automatically save all the file. So uh, it will take a few seconds to compile all the files. Then we mm, must have the summer note in our application. So until it get compile we can come here in our project as you can see okay now we have an error if i go and view the error here is the error it says to install it you can run npm save code mirror now we need code mirror as well because we this uh, summer node need the code mirror so we should run npm install code mirror as well so that it should use that i will control c here yes terminate 
the previous command I will paste it and run it it will uh, install the code mirror then we can continue on sometimes it happen it uh, depend on bootstrap as well that's why it, it, it will take a while to download all its dependencies it is the correct way of doing this the other way of doing this uh, uh, adding the visual editor is to just link them from a CDN bootstrap jQuery then the bootstrap JavaScript summer note CSS and then we have the summer note JS so the way we do is because we compile all our fi file in a single file we, we are doing this again I will run the watcher let's see this time what will happen this time it should compile all the files we have added only the JavaScript part so the way you will use it you will just come here you know the, the ID is content if I come here this time successfully compiled if I come here uh, as you can see it says once the document get ready you can apply it to anywhere you want so I will come to the JavaScript here is the jQuery we add the jQuery and actually you can open the app.js here this time it just search for the uh, as soon as the document get ready it search for the summer note any ID which uh, for our project it is content content is the ID of this one yes this time it should uh, add all the WYSIWYG editor option to our input here if I refresh it let me see ah yeah it is showing but uh, as you know it is a little bit broken because we might uh, have a problem with the CSS yeah we should add the CSS as well if I add the CSS from CDN for now come to the app I will add it to the main CSS as well if I run it now it is showing here as you can see this is looking good now but it is showing here as well because there are some designs they miss yeah now this went on now it is looking good because if I come to the summer note they have for bootstrap 4 as well here is the bootstrap 4 js you should add this one for the css one also you should add this one if you are using bootstrap 4 since they we are using bootstrap 4 and we are not using this kind uh, this javascript this just uh, mix up everything and show some of the options here delete remove something like that that's why the next thing is that this is not the right way to link CDN I will come to the CSS file here the SAS variable CSS here I will duplicate the file the till that means you should go to the node module folder here then we have a summer node folder I will search for that down R S T yes S T U here is the summer node then you can just come here link it to summer node then you have a disk inside the disk folder you can reference the CSS file this uh, summer note as you can see here is the bootstrap 4 version bs4 the CSS if I save the file and it should compile again yes successfully compile this time if I refresh it it is showing yeah the icons are missing because we are not using the JavaScript version properly this is using the the CSS is the for bootstrap 4 but the JavaScript is not for bootstrap 4 that's why it just gave us that error so we should fix it in our JavaScript file here as we reference it like this here we will require it in another way the other way would be to require the file uh, like the source as you know there is a bootstrap 4 so we can include it like this require summer node this and then summer node because the directory is like that if I go again to the summer node here 
as you can see here is the bootstrap for js it will just include the javascript for that again i will save it it should recompile and if i refresh the page still it will show us the same thing because the font will not display as you can see it has two error if i see the it does not show it because of the fonts the error of the fonts if i refresh again fonts are the problem here so the way it works is as you can see here is my server and here is a public folder and then home but for my url it is going to the fonts then vendor then summer note if i come to the public folder we have font we have vendor we have summer note we have this and all of these fonts are compiled there but it is giving us error here because it is because if i come to the home page of my application here i can see all the folders here that is the reason so i will make a ht access file here to redirect us to the home page without going to the public here is how we will do that right there if i add something yes that ht access inside this i will add all the ht access code i need so here is the code unit if i paste this code save my file i come refresh the page now it is showing the level without going to the public it is showing us the home page if i go this time as you can see all the fonts all the files are loaded so now we have a busy big editor i can add something here then i will come make it bold it is bold now i can just apply the h1 or i can just give a color for this if i select give a color something like this so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to comment it below